Okay, so medium flat rate box. I pulled all of the stuff I'm about to show you out of this box. And I originally was gonna do unboxings where I untangle the jewelry and everything in front of you guys. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. And I tried it and it was like an hour and 15 minutes long. And I was like, that is just way too long. I mean, I could see if I was doing a live show and communicating with everyone, that would be one thing. But just to be um, going on and having you guys watch me go through jewelry, I just, I didn't think that that was the right thing to do. And correct me, I could be wrong. But anyway, this stuff, I've already gone through the box. And I'm going to show you some of the stuff I found and how I'm going to list it. This, I'm going to list individually just because it's so um, unique I don't it, it's tarnished so I'm guessing it's just like some sort of I don't even know what it is but I don't think it's silver I guess is my point um so there's some cute like little rings in here and my hands are super super dry from um washing them all the time uh so this is really cute maybe I'll put it on to this to show you what it looks like I think this is a cute piece um, but most of these I may just put in one big lot or maybe two small lots and just sell them as a bundle this one's kind of cute also it um, kind of oops opens in the front like that I don't know, just trying to figure out what I want to list individually and what I want to list all together is, is kind of hard to figure out. This is just a stretch ring, but somebody, you know, might like it. I didn't see anything that was marked 14 karat gold or 18 karat gold or anything like that. This is all just costume jewelry, which is fine. I mean, it still sells. I just don't know if I want to take the time to list everything individually so yeah I think I'm gonna lot all of these rings together and just sell it as a as a bundle but you can see that's that one's like a, I don't know what that is but I got quite a few of these but yeah just costume jewelry um I haven't decided about this yet this says Italy and it says um can't remember uh, is it Murano? Murano let me see yeah Murano I think is how you say it I may be saying it wrong glass and it says made in Italy so I may list that piece separate I thought this was cute with the little elephant um, so I think I'm gonna list that separately I just thought this was adorable it's a seed bead necklace and it's a um, alligator or a crocodile so I think I'm definitely gonna list that separately. It's just bread and butter, you know. I'm gonna list this bracelet separately. I thought it was kind of cute. Uh, so these two items are bracelets and it says Leah and Tiffany. I'm gonna list those separate. Again, just bread and butter items. Most of this box is bread and butter. So I have three little charms in here and I'm gonna list these as a lot. Just these three items. I think they're cute. They're gold tone. I don't see any markings on them. I did not test them, but there's a little owl, this little piece here, um, and a little flower. I just thought they were cute. So I'm gonna lot those. I think I'm gonna list this separate. I wanna say maybe it's vintage, just by the, the look of it, but I could be wrong. But it's really, really cute. It's just a little necklace pendant but I like the colors. So I think I'm gonna list that separate. I already listed these and I'm listing these as a lot. Um, I thought they were kind of like Easter colors and you can wear them kind of layered. If you wear all four at the same time, it's kind of cute. So I'm gonna sell those together. Again, it's just costume jewelry, but I can definitely make some money on it. I did list this today and 
should have opened the bags ahead of time. There's 10 little pendants in here. Let's see if I can get my light closer. Um, does that help? And they're just little necklace pendants. And I'm gonna sell these as a lot of 10. And then there's 25 pendants in here, and I listed this today also. And I'll just show you some of these. Again, you know, a reseller can buy them or just somebody who likes to change up their jewelry. Um, this is just a little soccer ball, but this is, it's kind of a heavy piece and it's reversible, so you can either wear it gold or silver. This one is blue or like a peach coral color. Um, this is like a little moon galaxy thing. So I, I could list some of these individually, most definitely. Um, but I just, I'm just gonna sell it in bulk. There's 25 of them. This one goes onto a necklace, but it attaches in two areas. So you can kind of see how it attaches, but it's a little lizard. This is glass. Um, I just saw the back of this. It says 2012 589. So I don't know. I love that little owl. So this is the back. So I don't know if somebody like handmade that or, or what. I'm guessing since it's signed. I believe this is a shell and it's like encased in, I don't know what that is. Another little piece of glass, probably handmade with the wire wrapped around it. This, I don't know if this is vintage or not. Sometimes I have a hard time telling if things are vintage. This is a stone. This I believe is glass also. This is really cute. I think it's adorable. I'm guessing it's probably handmade. I don't know if that's a real leaf or not. <laughs> kind of looks like it. So yeah, just, it's just a mixed lot. That one's just a little one. So I don't think I showed you this. And then there's this little bear, which I don't know if it's meant to go on a necklace or what. So yeah, there's 25 items there. And I've already got those on Mercari. I haven't put them on eBay and Posh yet. I haven't had time. This necklace is really neat. It's a seed bead necklace, but it's um, kind of like, I don't know what you would call that, like a bangle? No, not a bangle. I don't know. But... I don't know it's just really really cool so i decided i was going to list this and it's funny because as i'm going through the jewelry i start to get like i'm not um a second get this bag open this is all the stuff that was broken so it is a bag of broken items so the beads are still fantastic, and you can definitely still sell crafters lots. Um, this is like, uh, they're uh, pins, I, not pins, like little decorations. Let me see if it tells, metal embellishments. So, um, like here's some broken earrings. But, and so, there's some, might be some pendants in here, but again, I'm just gonna lock this up and sell it. Now, another thing I did is if I could not get the stuff apart, I would get like frustrated and I'm like, I'm just putting it with the crafters lot because I'm telling you, I don't have the patience to go through all of this. So some of that might be complete once somebody goes through it. I don't know, but it's not gonna, I, I wasn't gonna spend any more time on it. I was getting frustrated. So I just threw it in the crafter's bag. Now, this bag is a bag full of wearable jewelry. And I'm guessing there's probably, well, let's see. I'll tell you how much. Ugh. So almost seven pounds and it's all wearable. And I'm sure that there is a ton in here that I could pick out and I could, uh, definitely list but there are only so many hours in the day 
So I'm just gonna kinda, I, I don't wanna mix it up with what I've separated out, but I'm gonna show you kinda what's in here, just to give you an idea of what I'm gonna be putting in my bulk jewelry lots. So I'll probably sell this as a, a lot on, um, in, I don't know, eBay or Mercari or whatever. So, you know, there's a lot of like little bracelets. There's a pendant. Um, here's a, a necklace. I mean, just because it's here doesn't mean it, it will not sell. It just meant that there's a necklace and bracelet that matches, which would probably be good for Easter. This is like a little like ring. It's too super tiny. So I don't know if it's like for a kid. There's some stretch bracelets. You know, I put, I threw some rings in here. I tried to keep them, um, like so that they're still decent sellable items. Uh, I really didn't pull that much out for myself to sell in this lot. Like it, it's costume jewelry, you guys, like the girl that I got them from, on eBay, she had picked through everything. So any gold and silver was picked out. I have found a few miscellaneous pieces that were um, marked silver, but I don't know if they're actually silver. I haven't had a chance to test them. So, I mean, there's some, there's definitely some cute pieces. This is like a, those feel cold. I don't know what they're made of. These are still like in the package. So some of the some of the boxes will be better than others, and I kind of like that I'm doing this again because um, I did nine boxes in like two days, so uh, I kind of forget what's in the big bags. So as I do these videos, I'll kind of keep a mental note of you know what's in it because I want people to to get a good value and still be able to make money. But crafters can buy this or, you know, a reseller could buy it. It's it's going to be a lot of bread and butter items. It's not going to be any, they're not going to find a treasure. I mean, I've gone through it and the girl before me went through it. I bought it knowing that she had gone through it. I don't know what this is. This piece is kind of cool. So, um, and some of it is, I don't know what this is, but it's kind of, it's definitely cold. But I tried to keep some. Like that purple necklace is kind of cool. I, I don't know. I don't know values of jewelry very well. So I'm just trying to learn. There's another little elephant. That one's a little bit, no, is that on a wire? That's a little stretched out actually. I probably should have put that in the crafters, but somebody can maybe fix it. So this is like a pin that you wear. So nothing, you know, there's another ring. This, this is, I think, glass. It's a little glass pendant. I haven't decided what I'm gonna price it yet. I need to, to think about that. This opens up, I think, yeah. I don't know, is that a shell? Colored shell, maybe? This goes on a scarf. And, you know, just some miscellaneous rings and stuff. This is like a, they call that herringbone. But I think it's just something, I don't know. So, yeah, this will all be lotted up and sold in a lot. Um, and I may, I think I'll just put this in there with it because I don't want to mess with it. I think I'm going to add that to it. <laughs> and I'm sure, you know, as I go through these other ones that I've done, um, but I wanted to put some of the rings together, some of the pendants together and uh, try that. And this crafter's lot right here, I'm definitely gonna probably add to that with another lot that I already did. So yeah, I, I don't know. It's hard for me to know what to price things at. And I that's a spinner, see how it spins? Cause I don't know if people are buying for personal use and they're gonna pick out what they want and then sell some or, you know, that's a cute little ring. I mean, again, it's costume, it's not marked, I don't think. But, I mean, there's still cute stuff. This one's got little, I don't know, flowers on it. 
and that's the top. So what do you guys think? What are your thoughts? Do you think I should be selling every single ring separately? I mean, somebody might pay 10 bucks for this. It's just costume, but they might want it for like a wedding band for when they're at work, or maybe they're not married and they just want it on their other hand because that's definitely a guy's ring. But people wear costume jewelry all the time. So if you see something that I missed, let me know. And I'm gonna end this video here and I'm gonna go on to the next box and just gonna pump out some videos tonight and show you guys what I've been finding over the last couple days. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.